Hi everyone, welcome to WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm back with another easy tutorial on how to sign up for a Waze account. First, make sure that you've downloaded the Waze application on your smartphone and once you've done that, tap it open. Allow Waze application to send you notifications by tapping on allow in the pop-up and once you end up in this page, you can simply tap on the get started button in order to sign up for your account. In order to create your Waze account, you can use either Google or sign up with the email option. Select any one option from the pop-up. In my case, I'm going to choose sign up with email. If you want to quickly create a new account, then you can also choose sign up with Google. Once tapping on the second option, you'll be able to see this interface. Go ahead and provide a valid email address for yourself and type it in in the text box. After you are done, if you want to receive updates, promotions and other emails about Waze and Waze Carpool, tap on this little box beneath. If you don't want to receive it, leave it unchecked and tap next. Now. You'll need to verify your email address that you've just typed in. Check your inbox for the verification email sent to your email address. Tap on open inbox and select your email service provider from the pop-up. Since I've chosen my Gmail, let me tap on Gmail. If you've chosen your Yahoo Mail, select Yahoo Mail. Tap on open in the pop-up and once you open up your inbox, you should receive an email from Waze in order to verify your email address. Tap the inbox open and Tap on verify email. Once you've done verifying your email, you'll be able to register for a new account. With these few simple steps, you have successfully signed up for your Waze account. I'm using my iPhone to log into the Waze application. If you're using Android, then do not worry at all. The process is quite similar. Simply open up your Waze application from your app drawer and from the first interface of Waze, which looks like this, tap the login button at the bottom. Read through the use your license agreement from this page and scroll all the way down and tap on accept at the bottom right. Now, in order to log into your account, you'll need to select the same way that you chose while signing up for Waze. If you chose the Google option while signing up, tap on Login with Google and follow the instructions. If you chose the email or username option, simply go ahead and enter your username or your email in the text box at the top. Provide the same email or your username that you created while signing up for Waze. After you are done filling in the detail, tap Next. Verify your email address by checking your inbox, tap on Open Inbox and Select your email service provider from the pop-up. Open up the inbox received from Waze and tap on verify email. Soon after you do that, you'll be logged in to your Waze application quick and easy using mobile device. How to activate sound on Waze application. If you want to activate sound on your Waze application, then the process is quite simple. Open up the app from your app drawer and make sure that you are logged in first. Once you are logged in, tap on My Waze at the bottom left. Now, from the expanded menu, tap on the gear icon at the top left. And from the settings menu, tap on Voice and Sound. Make sure that the option right next to Sounds is enabled and make sure that it is turned on. Tap on On. And once you do that, you'll be able to activate sound on your Wage application. Now, if you want to choose a voice for your Wage app, tap on the Wage Voice option at the top and select one of the voices from the options and give it a tap. So now after you do that, you'll be able to activate sound and use voice direction from your choice on Waze app. You can now tap on the cross icon at the top right in order to get to the main interface. That is how you can easily activate sound on Waze application. You might want to turn your volume down so that you can drive quietly or if you want to turn it up so that you can hear your directions properly on Waze, then this video is for you. Simply go ahead and open up your Waze application and make sure that you are logged in. Once you are inside, tap on the My Waze button at the bottom left and tap on Waze your icon at the top. From the My Waze page, scroll all the way down and tap on Settings. From the Settings menu, Tap on Voice and Sound. From the Voice and Sound page, scroll down under Sound and you can drag the slider right next to Guidance Volume and adjust the volume according to your preference. Slide towards the left to decrease the volume and slide to the right to increase the volume. You can also click 
play sound via option and tap on play on phone speaker if you'd like to use the external speaker of your mobile device. That is how you can easily adjust the volume on your Waze application. How to change time on Waze application. Open up your Waze application from the app drawer and make sure that you're logged into your account. Once you're inside the main home page of Waze, tap on My Waze at the bottom left. Tap the settings button or the gear button at the top left. From the settings menu, scroll down and tap on plan drives. Under notification, tap on timing. Choose your preferred timing, either to time to leave 10 minutes before or early and time to leave option. Once you do that, you'll be able to change the time to leave notification on Waze application. Now, you'll be able to receive notification from Waze whenever it's time to leave for an upcoming planned drive or any calendar events. How to change voice on Waze application. Start off by opening up your Waze application from the app drawer and make sure that you're logged in. Once you're inside the main home page of Waze or the navigation page of Waze, tap on My Waze at the bottom left. From the expanded pop-up, tap on the gear icon at the top left. From the settings menu, tap on voice and sound. Under voice directions at the top, tap on Waze voice and select the default voices available from this page. Select any voice that you'd like to change to by giving it a tap and once you are done, you'll be able to change the voice on your Waze app. You can also change your language by scrolling all the way down and selecting the language you prefer from the options and give it a tap. That is how you can easily change your navigation language and voice on Waze application. Once you're done, you can now go back to the main home page. How to clear history on Waze application. If you want to clear out your navigation history on Waze application, then open up your Waze application first and make sure that you're logged in. At the bottom of the page, tap on the search box. Now, tap history. You'll be able to see your recent search histories on this page. You'll be able to see three dots appearing right next to every recent search give it a tap and tap on remove from the options tap remove one more time from the pop-up and soon after you do that you'll be able to clear out your recent search history on waze application how to delete favorites on waze application you can add locations to your favorite list on waze and you can also delete it if you wish. Simply open up your Waze application from your app drawer and make sure that you're logged in. Go and tap on the My Waze icon at the bottom left and from the expanded menu, tap on Saved Places. You'll be able to see the list of saved places that you've added as your favorites. Simply tap on the three dots right next to the place and tap on Remove option from the list. Tap on Yes when it asks you if you're sure you'd like to delete this saved place. Once you tap on yes, you'll be able to see that you've just deleted one of your favorites on the Waze application. Repeat the process if you want to delete more. That is how it can be done. How to force close Waze application on your iPhone. If you want to force close your Waze application using iPhone, then follow the steps. Simply swipe up from the bottom of the screen to bring up the app switcher. Now, swipe the window for the Waze app upwards the top of the screen until the app disappears. Soon after you do that, you have successfully forced closed Waze application on your iPhone. How to make your Waze application talk. You can easily turn on voice directions on Waze application in order to make your Waze application talk. Turn on your Waze application and make sure that you are logged in first. Once you're inside the main home page, tap on My Waze at the bottom left. Now, tap the gear icon at the top left and from the settings menu, tap on Voice and sound. Make sure that the button right next to sounds is turned on. Simply tap on on in order to turn it on for your Waze app. That is how you can easily make your Waze application talk. How to mute Waze application on your iPhone. You might want to mute your Waze during phone calls on mobile devices. In order to do that, Tap open Waze application from the app drawer and make sure that you are logged in as well. Once you're inside the main home page, tap on My Waze at the bottom left. From the expanded menu, tap Settings or the gear button at the top left. Now, tap on Voice and Sound. Scroll down 
and enable the button right next to mute wage during calls. Make sure that the button is turned blue. Once you enable this option, you'll be able to mute your wage during phone calls. Pretty easy, isn't it? How to update wage application If you want to update your wage application to the latest version using iPhone, then the process is quite simple. First, make sure that you're connected to a Wi-Fi or a cellular network and once you are, open up your app store. Bring up the search box and in the search box, type in Waze and perform your search. You'll be able to see the Waze navigation and live traffic application displayed on the screen. Simply tap on the update button in order to update to the latest version of the the app, wait for a few minutes until it's done with the update process. And once it is done, you'll be able to see the open button. The updates comes up with bug fixes and performance improvement for your app, so make sure to update your application now and then in order to get the best of them. Once the application is updated to the latest version, tap the open button to launch open your application and that is how you'll be able to update your wage application using iPhone. If you want to sign out of your wage app on your phone or your tap on your mobile device then the first thing to do is to open up your Waze app and make sure that you're inside the home page once you're inside your main home page tap on my Waze at the bottom left now tap on the wager option at the top of the screen right under your profile and soon after you do that scroll all the way down until you see this account and login option tap it on and scroll all the way down Tap on the log out button under advanced and confirm login out by tapping on log out in the pop up again. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to see your main interface for Waze app. That means you have successfully logged out or signed out of your Waze application. How to delete your Waze account using your mobile device. Watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you've not yet. Press the notification bell so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. If you want to delete your Waze account, then the process is quite simple. Open up your Waze application and make sure that you are logged into your account. From the main homepage of Waze, tap on My Waze at the bottom left. From the expanded menu, tap on the gear button at the top left and this will open up your settings menu. From the settings menu, scroll down until you see account and login option and tap it on. Scroll all the way down from this page until you see the delete account button in red and give it a tap. It says that once you delete your Waze account and your Waze carpool accounts, you won't be able to access your navigation history, rank, credit, saved location or carpool profile and balance. To continue deletion, tap continue. Now, confirm your deletion by tapping on delete both accounts option at the bottom and again tap on delete wage accounts again wait for a few seconds and you have successfully deleted your wage account and your wage carpool accounts that is how it can be done i hope you found the video to be helpful if it was go ahead and give us a thumbs up i'll be back soon with more videos like this thank you for watching Everyone, welcome to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to delete Waze application from your iPhone. Watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you've not yet. Press the notification bell so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. If you want to delete your Waze application from your iPhone, then the process is quite simple. Go ahead and navigate through your app drawer and look for Waze app. Long press the application and you'll be able to see a pop-up. Tap on remove app and in the pop-up, select delete app option. Select delete one more time in the pop-up and you'll be able to delete your wage application from your iPhone in just a few simple steps. If you recently deleted your Waze application and you'd like to delete it from your system as well, that is how it can be done. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more videos like this. Thank you for watching.